Alright, this run shows off the newly buffed Lizard, and it turns out it's actually quite good. It got a buff in its stats and its ability, it gained 1 HP, and also its Lizard Tail Spawn gained 1 attack. So I thought it would expand upon the run that I did earlier that used Emu Lizard and add in some even more stuff to synergize and really make it like a good infinite spawn build. And that involved adding in a Spino so that anytime the Lizard Tail faints, like something random could get 3-2 and also a donkey so that whatever's in the back the lizard tail will faint and the thing in the back which is usually a weak thing will get kicked to the front so that the lizard will hit that and get another trigger and you know that process will hopefully just feed into as many lizard tail spawns as possible it's honestly a really fun team and i've been enjoying just doing it over and over again and actually getting quite a few 10 wins with it like i surprisingly actually pretty good and as you will see, this run did not start off so hot. It's like, I was really forcing the lizard, and I did not even get it on turn 3. I have, like, it set up where, you know, I'm going to feed it as much health as possible, feed it broccolis, feed it the pill bug buffs, feed it the mouse buffs, like, shrimp buffs, rabbit buffs, however I can, just get it to as much health as possible. And uh, that is the plan. So there it is. There's the 1-4 lizard. Um, that was terrible ordering. <laughs> Why did I do it that way? I literally should have bought the broccoli first and I would have gotten the extra attack. What am I doing? I thought I was supposed to be good at this game. Oh well, I mean, the dirty rat as well. Dirty rat, lizard, a little bit of a synergy there. And it actually like spawns a 3-1. That's not that bad. There's some potential for lizard dirty rats. It's not going to work later on, but like, it's interesting that it works now. Um, also, I was trying out, like, Elephant Lizard Tail, maybe with, like, Spino or something, because, like, the Elephant could kill the Lizard Tail spawns and maybe just spawn more. That didn't really end up working out so hot, uh, but that's fine. Like, this was still a lot of fun to do, and, yeah, just gonna spam feed it broccoli, get up as much health as possible, because that's all you really need. You don't care about the attack, since the Lizard Tail spawns will do the attack for me, because, like, three attack is, you know, it's a little bit of damage, but once you start getting, like, 6 attack, 9 attack, I mean, that's pretty good. That's, like, well, I mean, it's not that good, but I don't know. <laughs> I'm getting excited over nothing. Um, and there's gonna be a Blobfish pill that'll help out to get you to level 2. And early Squirrel, I mean, that'll work with the rabbits. Just feed it as much HP as possible. Sure. Anyway, um... So yeah, I watched Genesis. This is, I mean, a bit late to talk about, but still, I think it was a great tournament. Um, spoiler alert for who won, if you care about Melee. Uh, I Jmook won, first time it, like ever that a Sheik has won a Super Major, which is crazy considering Sheik's like a top five character in the game. But um, yeah, it was big breakout performance for Jmook because he hadn't won anything big before, but he got in like a lot of second places. And I was also thinking about it, like, I was also listening to The Yard, because they talked about, like, Genesis a bunch on The Yard, which is a podcast with Ludwig, Ludwig and his friends. And, I mean, uh, Aiden was kind of talking about, like, his, uh, I don't know, how much he cared about, like, the tournament and how disappointed it was, uh, the, like, result that he got. And, like, he was getting, like, choked up about it. And I think it's interesting, like, how... Like, failing over and over to me is so, ad like, admirable to, like, keep failing but keep going and eventually you actually end up succeeding. Because, like, I was also thinking about how Axe and, like, Amsa have played Melee for, like, 10 years before they actually won a tournament. Which is just a crazy amount of dedication to have before, like, actually winning something. I mean, you can kind of have, like, successes in between that. Just, like, you know, fishing top 8 for the first time. Maybe winning, like, a local for the first time or whatever. But, I don't know, I thought, thought that, like, that is such an interesting thing to think about. Like, the people who actually just don't give up and continue to do something after failing over and over, it seems crazy, but it ends up being, like, it ends up being so inspirational, too. Um, yeah, anyway, back to the run. So there's a donkey, can just slot that in any time, and cows will be pretty helpful. Level 2 squirrel is also nice to try to get some level ups, because you get, you know, that one additional uh, food item that could increase your odds of getting chocolate. And also just like cheaper chocolate. Chocolate is perfect. Do you want to make sure I have something weak in front so that the lizard tail will actually spawn? This will also help out with the donkey. I mean, there's, wow, what a team. Just a Doberman pretty much. Buds is gonna die and still get that win. So as you can see, I mean, it kind of carried me in the middle game. It was actually really good. 
And great thing about having double squirrel when it's level two, level one, you actually get free food. So free lemons. I almost forgot, but why not take free lemons? I mean, if life gives you lemons, I, someone's had to have made that like pun many times before. <laughs> oh, well, I'll pretend that I'm like unique in the first one, whoever came up with it. Uh, that was a lot of cows. I could have gotten level two cow. Guess I decided against that. Don't really care too much about the tier six. I do want, um, I guess, the Spinosaurus. And there's Emu, leveling up the Emu. Actually pretty important, like getting that extra health regen. Level three Emu gives 12 HP. And when you combine that with Lemon, that's like 16 HP. That's pretty good. I mean, it's not gonna like obviously carry over to 50-50 teams, but if you run into like any summon teams, you'll start to get like the infinite chain going. As you can see here, not really losing too much HP. And the lizard is just gonna solo the team. Why not? What a fun little interaction. Like, I, I should count how many actually I get here. One gold chicken leg. Sure, why not? And then I can get level two emu. Or actually what I could do is just freeze it because I'll get the gold discount next turn. And there's level two donkey. That'll also help out send the two things in the back to the front. And, okay, pretty strong team, 25. But the lizard tail trading there is huge. And then gonna just regen that HP. Uh, over and over again. Octo can hit the lizard and actually cause it to spawn a lizard tail. And then the Octo gets to shoot again and it can kill the lizard tail. I've gotten some weird like infinite chains of that happening before. Uh, I mean, not really infinite, but it has a possibility of being infinite, I guess. Another crow. Another discounted chocolates. And uh, one gold pear. Don't really need the one gold pair. Pita bread's interesting. I could, like, I was also thinking of going pita bread, like crane or something, um, but just decided against that. And pretty strong team here. But wait, the extra HP, the lizard tail makes a huge difference. Hammer shark goes to the front. It gets enough HP so that it almost trades with the sauropod. Still lose. That's all right. You can't win them all. And look at that discounted food. I don't really need it. Like, what I want is Spino here. But, I mean, I guess this will be, like, protection against any snipers. I already have, like, lemon, but, um, yeah, that'll work. I don't really need the extra attack. Don't care about those snails. There's the Spino for next turn. Or I could just sell the level 2 Squirrel. Probably not uh, a wise decision, but I wanted to just have the full squad for the last couple turns. And here it is. Like, um, ideally, you can get an extra 2 HP onto this Lizard if the Spino hits it. Cobra... I mean, that's a pretty scary thing. It's a good thing I actually did take those extra stats. And then look at this. I can't believe it's actually working. And extra HP, the Spino makes the difference. Spino buffs, obviously, the Emu and the Donkey as well. So those stats got pretty good. And, I mean, this looks like a great next turn as well. I can get level 2 or level 3 Emu or level 3 Lizard. Decide to go for the Emu and then get level 2 Spino or level 3 Lizard next turn. But already on nine wins, so will it just end here? It looks like a really strong team. I mean, those are almost 50-50 with lemons, but wait. The extra HP and another one? I'm actually gaining HP. Get enough HP, and the lizard tail spawn makes a difference. Pops the pepper as well, and then the spino finishes it off. Surprisingly really good team. Like, I can't believe this works so frequently, but also a lot of fun, and thanks for watching. See ya.